Welcome to Tiny Rails. I think this is episode number four of this game, or of me recording and playing this game. That is my train going past from my game which I'm not recording, with all the different carriages on it. However, I am currently recording CA Sysprog Express, which is day six compared to day 430. And last time round I was at Raleigh, North Carolina, heading towards, I think, South Carolina. We'll see exactly where I was headed because the train will be... Oh, no, I was heading towards Tallahassee, Florida. That's right, I had to go to Tallahassee for some reason. Oh, I guess I'll take a picture of a... some kind of monument. I'm not entirely sure what monument I'm taking a picture of. Florida State University, apparently. Oh yes, I was coming to Tallahassee for some reason or other. I forget exactly what. Make a stop at Tallahassee, Florida was the thing I'd been instructed to do, so... They've just unloaded the rest of the computer equipment. Good work. They should help a lot. What's next, Valerie? We've got a huge delivery of shrimp to pick up in New Orleans. Feel like some Creole cooking. I think we'll have, think we'll have time to visit Bourbon Street while we're there. Okay, so let me click my reward and let me click my 250 for taking a picture and just check I have no jobs completed. Right, so I'm currently at Tallahassee, Florida in the USA South and I'm now headed towards New Orleans, Louisiana. As the next part of the quest. And I'm just curious. Okay, the next station would like wood, followed by wheat, fish, or corn. So we'll see what's in the market. Well, there's some corn. But not a lot. I will just buy the one strawberry that is on sale. It's kind of weird playing a game like this where on my own game I've got 15 carriages and I can carry all sorts of stuff and this one I can hardly carry anything okay I've got to buy or upgrade five train stations from the USA South travel one and a half thousand miles serve some passengers and buy a load of cargo to get this wonderful pretty train unlock the USA Center and get 10,000 gold in a new factory. So if I've got to buy train stations, first off, let's see if I've got any money in my caboose. I really can't tell, so let's just see what comes out of there. Oh, quite a bit. Right, find some cheap train stations to buy. We'll buy that one, Jackson, Mississippi. We'll buy that one. Oh, we'll buy Little Rock, Arkansas and upgrade it. Baton Rouge, 5,000. I'm looking for train stations that cost 500 or 1,000. Dallas is going to be way more expensive than that. Well, we'll buy Topeka, Kansas. We'll buy and upgrade Jackson's Jefferson City. Frankfurt, Kentucky, and that's me pretty much out of money. I can't afford Nashville, Tennessee. Can't even afford Columbia, South Carolina anymore. Well, that's bought me a load of train stations, which means I've now completed a second goal. Uh, or a, no, a first task of getting all the train stations I need. The distance and the passengers will be easy. So now it's going to be a matter of buying a load of cargo for my wonderful little train with the game carriage on it, the Hawaiian carriage. Old West food car. Let's get a little more money. As we're on our way to Montgomery, Alabama, 93 miles an hour and uh, just over 100 miles to go. The bright blue sky, a Mad Max type train engine, farmland by the looks of it in the background. 
not really a lot else to say about it. Carrying 22 pieces of cargo, 13 passengers, and just over 600 in cash. A little more money. Might as well clean and maintain the train while I'm here. Once I've got a little more money, I will try and upgrading the amount of carriages I can possibly carry. And upgrading the train a bit further. But generally at this point, my main aim is to complete the USA scenarios preferably reasonably fast so that I can then start travelling all over the world. Okay, that has managed to complete a job as well. I don't know which one. Oh, okay, serve 25 passengers in the USA South. That got me a little more money. Any others? Yep. Serve 10 passengers in the USA South. I haven't served 50 passengers yet, but that means I can now pick up a couple more jobs. And... Well, I'll pick that one up, serve 50 passengers in USA East, because I'm bound to go there at some point. And it's... 5,000 is quite a lot of money. And... I'll refresh the job board, and we'll pick up that one because it's a reasonable amount of money and it's a matter of travel X number of kilometers which I'm going to do anyway okay well oranges are nice and cheap well they're on sale not necessarily nice and cheap I might sell the strawberries and the honey as they make me a reasonable profit and the onions for that matter I'm not selling the steel that's useful for the factories which I either own or will own in the not too distant future two and a half thousand how much is a new carriage oh a rare one's only 350 so let's have a rare carriage Golden Steam Car. It's a passenger car, but it's new for me anyway. And I've got only 3,000 to upgrade cars, so what I will do is upgrade the maximum passengers and maximum cargo I can carry. And I've completed yet another job. Get Sophia a little more experience by travelling a few thousand kilometres, and we'll take another job that says get Sophia a little more experience. Like I say, with, with the jobs, you might as well be doing ten at a time all the time because you're going to be travelling kilometres anyway, so you might as well get paid for it. You're going to be visiting towns, and you're going to be picking up cargo from obstacles on the track. So when it comes to jobs, it's always worth picking up those t three types of jobs. Just purely on the principle, you're going to be doing it anyway, so you might as well get paid for it. Whereas some of the other jobs can be more challenging to complete, so you may or may not choose to do some of them. Things like pick up a specific cargo, or pick up or deal with X number of obstacles, or reach a certain speed or collect so much gold from passengers yes you'll get you'll achieve those in time anyway but some of them take quite a while to actually achieve I'm just thinking I'm gonna pick up the corn because I'm pretty sure one of the places along this route required corn Good old Jackson, Mississippi. Now on our way to good old Little Rock, Arkansas, which has an Air Force base, or it did have an American Air Force base. I know because one of the American Air Force bases my father used to visit a lot. 
when he worked for one of the RAF squadrons that was one of their exchange programs or one of their cooperative bases. A little minor fact that I'm aware of about Little Rock. And I've actually got to... I'm meant to be heading possibly to Texas in November. And rather than fly down there, I figured I'd drive because I want to stop at Bentonville, Arkansas to see a friend of mine. It's not that far out of the way to go through Arkansas. And it's another job. Um, let's accept that job. To visit 20, 20 towns. Because like I say, I'm going to visit 20 towns in the end. So I might as well pick up the easy job that pays me for it. And that's completed yet another job. This one served 50 passengers, which got me quite a chunk of change. I don't like either of those jobs, so I'll pick this job up. Travel 1,500 miles. Uh, we got. You want fish? I'm not even going to bother picking up the oil, I'll just keep going. That's a reasonable amount of cash once again. So what I want to do is upgrade the amount of cars I can use. Upgrade the cargo, upgrade the max passengers, and I'll even upgrade the speed a couple of times. That gets me to go in just over 100 miles an hour. Ooh, there's something on the road. Or on the track, there's a cow in the way. Two free bits of goods. achieving the experience for the next level, so are you. You're almost halfway there. Oh, okay. Oh, I've travelled just over 1,500 miles in the USA South. Always nice. You're, oh, you're always ready for upgrading. You've got a ways to go. That's you, and you, and I've got a couple of thousand in the caboose. So I might as well collect it while I'm here. Uh, less than a hundred miles to go to New Orleans, where they want me to go to next. Let's see, he's got four out of his thirty needed experience. Six out of a thirty, and he's got one. Yes, it can take me a while to upgrade my employees. However, the additional cash and additional speed that comes out of upgrading at least two of those employees is very useful as time goes by. Yes, we're almost in good old New Orleans. Okay. Okay, shrimp are all. all uh, try that again. Okay, shrimp are loaded up and bound for Topeka, Kansas. All aboard! I had a chance to sneak off the train and grab some gumbo to go. Help yourself. Okay, that completed a quest. Which, or one of the quest bits, which gets me 700 in gold. Now I've got to go to Topeka. Also completed that job, which got me some more experience for my accountant space to get another job. And we'll take another one for the accountant. Let's see what the market wants. You want corn. I picked up corn specifically, so I can have some for you. We'll take the pigs. And don't worry about anything else in that list. Now where's Topeka? Oh, all the way over there. Okay, it's going to take me a little while to get over there. Well, on our way. Well, 
have a look at... Okay, you want steel. I'm carrying some steel, so I can provide you some steel. You want whatever that is, which I don't have. I don't have any pizza. I don't have any strawberries, I don't think. I do have a few pigs now. I don't have any chickens. I don't have any apples. But, on the price side... I don't want to sell my steel or pigs, because I actually can deliver them as something stations are demanding. However... I can sell the other bits that I've got that I don't need, and we will see what other jobs we can find. Except for that one, it's just a matter of travelling a distance. Buy pig cargo from USA South. I could do that one. Pet cargo from obstructions. Oh, we'll go with buy pigs. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe I won't take the go buy pigs, because I've already got the maximum amount of jobs that are currently available. Okay, you want steel. Well, we'll sell you a load of steel. Pick up some barbecue. Never a bad thing in life to be able to pick up some barbecue. Okay, I've served 100 passengers in USA South now, so I just need another buy another 14 cargo, and that should be the checklist for USA South. All I have to do then is complete the quests. As we go on a bit of a trek, apparently this time to oh, it's not that long far, Houston, then Austin. Well, it, I mean it is Texas. Let's face it. Houston, Austin, Texas, then Dallas. It's a big state, Texas, so it's going to take a little while to traverse it. Although apparently it's going to take me about another hour from get from Baton Rouge, Louisiana to Houston, Texas, because of the distance and the speed I'm doing. But if memory serves me correctly, I have a little money and possibly some more in the caboose. Almost a couple of thousand in the caboose. So if I go to the upgrades, I can upgrade my speed a little bit further to get it up to 108 miles an hour now. I know it's not a lot different from 101 miles an hour, but every little bit helps. Oh, another job. That one. Get Sophia a little more experience. Now we'll accept the job to buy pigs, because... It's there, and I have no real problem with transporting swine. Oh, and good news! My Old West passenger car has levelled up. So I might as well upgrade that to level 2. Which means it can carry a few more passengers and probably does a little more entertaining or comfort. Oh, Gumball, what's that? Why have I got a question mark on the Gumball machine? Or an exclamation mark? I do not know. Or maybe that was just because I could upgrade. I have no idea. I never have any idea. But I do need to buy pigs. So let's buy those pigs. And we'll buy the stuff that's on sale as well. And let us depart Houston for good old Austin. And now I just need another 12 bits of cargo to complete the North American checklist for USA South. And experience wise, the counter's now got 7, Lance the accountant's got 7. Sophia's got seven, and Hank's still got one. So it's going to take a while to get the employees up to the next level. But it's definitely worth doing. A very pretty and green countryside going through Texas. That's not the Texas I know. It's very rare to see green countryside. More likely to see brown countryside from what I remember of going through Texas. That one's about halfway there, the carrot card, about halfway to being upgraded. Just try 
trying to remember. Did I? Did I not? Yes, I do have space for more cars. However, I'm close to the limit on weight, so I should probably upgrade the maximum weight a little further. Oh, okay, I've run out of gold. Before I attempt to start adding more cars to my train, so I need to make some more money. As we come into Austin, Texas, where some of my family live. Oh, capture the monument. So that'd be the Austin or the Texas State House, I assume. Texas State History Museum. All right, fair enough. Because Texas is the Sorry, Texas. Austin is the state capital of Texas. You might think it'd be Houston or Dallas, but no, it's Austin. That's where the state government lives. I've completed yet another job. Visited 20 cities, so that helps Lance with his experience. Got ways to go before any of the others. We will collect cargo from the constructions. It takes a little while, but it's a job worth having. Mainly because it helps Hank. Okay, have you got any pigs? Nope. Alright, well we'll just take your lemons. Which are relatively cheap. Somebody's got to want some of these. I know I can make money off them. But I'm kind of hoping that these are actually useful for something. Or somebody. I could check, but that would, that would require effort. We go to Fort Stockton, Texas, which is more than 200 miles away from Austin, apparently. Then we get to go to Dallas, then Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Finally, Topeka, Kansas, at which point that's probably where I'm going to end the episode, once I know, know what my next destination is. Strawberries. Two and a half thousand. I was working on the weight. Current max weight, so I could get that to a high enough level. So now if I go to the edit option, I'm only using 71% of the current weight. So what have I got? Oh, let's shove on the Bohemian car. Put it in there. Okay, I have 60. 5% of the weight, and what are you? You're a Viking sword car, you're a passenger car of some type. Or we can have the Happy Cube car. I think we'll go with the Happy Cube car because it makes money. And I'm now under the weight. All that money. The Happy Cube car basically happens overnight and it's some kind of entertainment car that also helps carry passengers. If I look at my passengers now, I've got a reasonable level of food, reasonable level of comfort, plenty of entertainment, not much by the way of facilities. as we come towards Fort Stockton. We get to Fort Stockton, I will clean everything and I will maintain everything. Okay, you want strawberries, that's good, because I've got a couple of those. There's pigs, I want those even if they are expensive, and I'll take the corn because it's on sale. And we go again. Okay. And I've now managed to buy 50 cargo in USA South, which means I can collect the 10,000, get a new factory, and open the USA Center area. So, new area unlocked USA Center more interest in the 10,000 to be honest because that allows me to 
upgrade my current speed by three miles an hour. Upgrade my current cargo and my passengers. Upgrade the maximum bolt as well while I'm here. So I can actually get more cash in my caboose for if I leave this game. Well, if I leave the game and it keeps running, which I probably won't do for a while. But equally, as I've got long distances to go between places, time to go get myself some more cars. Okay, a ball pit. We'll get a non-rare one. Or well, most likely to be a non-rare one. A WAP 4 passenger car. Yeah, I'll try another one of those. A TACO car. go with a rare car. Oh, another happy cube car. I've already got one of those and I'm already using one of those. Secret found cracked. Okay. The thing has cracked. So let's have another car. Got the money. Another taco car. That is the problem. You can't sell cars, even if they are duplicates of ones you've already got. Oh, a golden steam car. What the heck, we'll go for another rare car. Might as well waste my money while I've got it. A candy cargo car. There you go, there's a whole, load, a whole new load of cars I've just picked up. As I'm coming into good old Dallas, Texas. Monuments or pictures to take on the way into Dallas? Doesn't look that way. Okay, well, we can sell a load of pig. Oh, yeah, sell a load of pigs as their cargo demand. And buy a load of oil. I still need to buy more pigs, I imagine, but that's life. And time to depart. Good old Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm just curious. Oh, I'm very close to a couple of the mileage ones, mileage jobs, but not there yet. It's 150 odd miles to Oklahoma City. 113 miles an hour, which is my current speed. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what monument I'm capturing. The Hello Pops Route 66. Okay. You say so. I've now completed another job. A load of miles. Completed that one. Let's find another. Another one that's travelled loads of miles for money. Like I say, it's always worth picking up travel miles for money jobs because you've got to travel them anyway. There's absolutely no reason not to, to do those. been through Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, should then be on to Topeka, Kansas, at which point I will set the next marker and end the episode. Yes, there is a lot of that in this game, of watching your train go by. This is one of those games that only can literally sit here, read a book, watch a TV show whilst playing this game. want chickens. I don't have any chickens, so we'll just take your oranges. 
straight in and out of good old Oklahoma City as I've got 215 miles to go to Topeka, Kansas. Let me look at the number of cars I've got that I'm currently not using that are all level 1. And I'm already using 10 cars for the maximum of 9. I've almost used up all my weight. It's not like much I can do at this point. I suppose I could buy some more stations with the money I'm making. This car should about, yeah, just turned, it's just gone open. The Happy Cube car will be open for the next six hours as it makes money. This one's still open, as is that one. That one's closed. Another job. Oh, another chunk of cash. And what else have we got? I'll live without any of those. Well, except that one. Give Sophia a bit more experience. Although cars want to be cleaned. Oh, almost 4,000 in, in the caboose. Luxury cargo cars. The carrot cars getting getting some experience. Oh, ah, okay. But, well, shrimp, it's been fun, but the people of Topeka need you more than my taste buds do. It's possible I like seafood and Cajun cooking. What's next on the agenda, guys? Lance has lined up a big one for us. We've got to pick up a big shipment of guitars. To... We've got a big shipment of guitars to pick up in Nashville, Tennessee. They've got to be delivered to Texas in time for a music festival. It's a huge potential contract. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head for Tennessee. Before we head for Tennessee, let's collect all the money we're owed. Okay, no more money owed, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Now yeah, we've got some oil on sale, so we might as well take it. Where is Nashville, Tennessee? Oh, it's over there. Yes, if you don't set waypoints, it will automatically decide where it's going to go next. In this case, it would go to Springfield. But by setting a waypoint down at Nashville, it finds the fastest route, which is through Jefferson. Excuse me, my voice is going. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go through Jefferson, which oh, I can buy a pig there. But well, she is going to go through these places, but of course, once I stop playing, the next time when I restart, it will be the train will be coming into Nashville. There's nothing I can do to stop that. Well, I could. I could actually tell it to go put the mark in Jefferson, and I'd only move to Jefferson. I'm not going to go to Nashville, so I might as well put the mark on Nashville. So, one final thing to... well, final things to do. We'll have another car. We'll upgrade the speed a couple of times, and that's pretty much all my money gone. Okay, well that's where I'm going to end this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Really don't know what else to say, it's... That is basically how Tiny Rails plays, you travel around. And it's a very fun casual... F fun casual game. Like I mentioned originally, this originally was a mobile game, I believe. So, the fact you can play it on a PC is good fun, but there are large periods where, especially you, as you'll see at some point in the future, when the transatlantic tunnel is built, it's, I don't know, 
3,000 miles, 3,500 miles, something like that, where the train is just going to go across the transatlantic tunnel, which isn't the most thrilling thing to watch. It's very pretty for a couple of minutes. Then it's a matter of, okay, wander away, do something else, make a drink, make dinner, whilst you're waiting for your train to traverse the transatlantic tunnel. So as long as you're fully aware of that's what this game is, then I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I will see you further down the track for more episodes of Tiny Rails in the not-too-distant future. Cheerio!